This video will show you the different ways to start a remote access connection through Splashtop Enterprise. The first method is unattended access. With unattended access, you can access the computer anytime even if the user isn't present. This requires the Splashtop Streamer app to be installed on the remote computer that you would like to connect to. From your business app client, double click on the computer in your list to connect to it. The second method is attended access where a user is present at the remote computer. One way for the technician to initiate the session is via 9-digit code with Splashtop SOS. Custom brand your own SOS app or instruct the user to download the Splashtop SOS app from our website and provide you the 9-digit code. Enter the 9-digit code in your business app to connect. Technicians can also make remote connections through the Service Desk Console, which keeps support sessions organized in channels and queues. The technician can create the session manually from the Service Desk Console. Once the session is created, they can share the invitation link to the user to download the SOS app. Alternatively, they can instruct the user to go to help123.app and enter a six-digit PIN code. Once the user downloads and runs the SOS app, the support session status will change from waiting to active. Another way to create a session is by using an SOS call app. The user can save the URL for the SOS call app or the app itself on their desktop. Whenever they need support, they can run the app, input their name and issue, and then submit. A new support session will be created in the queue with the SOS call icon. A user can also request a support session through a web form widget that is hosted on your own website. Once the form is submitted, a new support session will be created in the queue with the web form icon. The user can download and run the SOS app now, or copy the download link to run it on another computer to get support. Once the user has successfully run the SOS app, technicians can click the computer icon to request permission to connect. The user at the computer will receive a prompt to allow or deny the connection. Once permission is granted, the technician can start the remote connection.